The most obvious difference between Xcode 4 and previous versions of Xcode is the new single window interface. So the first thing you'll want to know is where did they put everything? I've made a working copy of the Mac demo project from the exercise files. You can use any project that you have, and frankly, I recommend that you use one of your own projects. This course is not about the code, it's about the IDE, and you want to get familiar with it with your own code. If you don't have the exercise files, don't worry about it. And if you do have the exercise files and you've got some of your own code you could be using for this, do go ahead and use your own code instead. You'll also notice that I've set up the screen here with all of the various components showing. If your screen looks a little bit different, don't worry about that. By the time we get to each element of this screen, you'll know how to open that up and how to turn that on. First, I want to direct your attention to the toolbar. And you'll notice over at the left, there's a run button and there's a stop button. And then there's the scheme menu. The scheme menu is analogous to the active configuration menu from Xcode 3. And you'll notice when I pull this down, it's got some different schemes available and you can edit schemes and create new schemes and manage your schemes. This is really a whole lot more powerful than what we had in Xcode 3. And we'll go into details on this in another movie. Then there's a breakpoints button for turning on and off breakpoints. And that's followed by the activity viewer. And you'll notice it just says succeeded, no issues. All kinds of messages can come up there and it'll show you a progress bar when things are going on. And if there's more than one thing going on, there'll be a little number and you can click on that number and you can see the progress of the various things that are happening. Then there's the editor selector and this selects the different editors in the editor area. And so you'll notice if I click on this assistant editor, it brings up an assistant editor with the corresponding .h file. So you have the .m file on the left and the .h file on the right. This can be very convenient, especially if you have enough screen real estate for it. Here in this little movie format, we don't have a lot of screen real estate. And then there's also the version editor, and that allows you to navigate different versions, uh, if you're using source code management, different versions of the same file. So we'll just leave this over here on the main editor viewer. Then you'll see the view selector, and this allows you to turn on and off the different regions of the screen. And an organizer button, which brings up the organizer window. And you notice that the documentation is now in the organizer window, and there's a toolbar up here with a lot of different possibilities for what shows up in the organizer. Now let's take a look at the editor area. You'll notice up at the top of the editor area, there are jump bars for the editors. 